The longevity economy is as if an entire continent of consumers and workers are emerging out of the water. The fact of the matter is that technology and education and knowledge is changing so quickly that, frankly, even younger workers are getting old very fast, given how the speed of things are changing around them. We have to continue training and education. But it also means that we're going to have to be profoundly adaptable. In fact, we're going to have to be so adaptable that we're going to have to be prepared to take different positions in companies and jobs that may not be the most senior, even though we may be older. So adaptability, lifelong education, and the willingness to be flexible about what we do and how often we have to change. Businesses are going to have to rethink workforce development. We are now looking essentially at a four, maybe even five generation workplace. So for businesses, we're going to have to think about a number of things. How do we manage across the generations where it's not just our age that makes a difference, but our language, what things mean, how we view career, the role of the company, education across the workforce, rethinking compensation and benefits. What does it mean to hire somebody who's in their 30s and 40s and 50s if they're new to the career and new to the job? So the opportunity and the challenge is to speak across three, four, five generations that have different anticipation of what work is and what their promotion ought to be, but to have them work together to form a new engagement, a new passion to work as a community, not as a generation. The role of the corporation and any organization is to ensure that there is no bias. Aging, if you think about it, is the one category of worker that all of us aspire to becoming one. So not only is it not that bias is bad for everyone, but to have a community free of bias is to have a community that works together, that is passionate and truly engaged about the company mission. This is not just about productivity. It also is proven to yield profits. What advice can we provide people who are planning for a 100-year life in the new longevity economy? School's never out. Continue learning. Prepare for change. Whether it's technology or knowledge or even economic markets, your career is not a singular thing. It's going to have to be changing with different jobs, different careers. And that leads to the third and perhaps most important, remaining adaptable. That in disruptive change, it's not just corporations and organizations that must navigate changing technologies, economics, and politics, but we as individuals must do that. And then finally, retirement. Planning for retirement that eventually is likely to come. After having many jobs, many careers, you may be more responsible than employers have traditionally been to prepare for retirement, to have the savings, the plans to be able to retire so that you can live longer and better.